divas what's up divas it's your girl april and i am back with a new video from my people at omgherhair.com so with this company they have like the most affordable lace wigs lace front wigs full lace wigs 360 wigs and i love affordable stuff y'all know i'll be do i'll be me and my daughter be hauling them dollar tree items it's all about being cheap on the queue, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be budget friendly. If you wanna keep up with the Joneses, then this is not the channel for you. But if you're trying to look cute and pretty, um, seductive, whatever you wanna call it on a budget, then hang tight. We about to take this trip together, okay? As well as that is make sure you check out their YouTube channel and their social media. I will post all of that information below. So this wig right here is their lace front. It's 20 inches, it's light yakky. And I do believe the density of this is 100 is 130 density. So it's light yakky. There are different options on the website that you can choose from when it comes to density, but this one is the 130. The pre-plucked hairline is like amazing. Like the first wig that I ever did for them, I think it was the first, I don't know, don't, don't give me the lion, but um, it looks so natural. Like it just melted in my skin. I think it was the first one. Either way, it was like really, really impressive. I was like, oh shoot, this like really, really is like melted in my skin. I didn't have to do nothing. I like when I ain't got to do nothing. Y'all know I like when I ain't got to do nothing. So with this one, you don't have to do anything. So for those of you girls who are worried about your lace blended in or whatever, check them out. They got some really great units. Majority of every unit that I've ever had from them has been pre-plucked, okay? So this is just the lace frontal, but the knots are bleached in the hair as well. So the hair is lighter. It is It does have bleached knots. It does have baby hairs in the front. And now for me, a lot of people like to do a lot of different things when it comes to making their wigs look like it's their hair, okay? they Some people take it really serious. I, for one, am one of those type of people. Some people will bleach the lace, and it is virgin hair, so this is virgin Brazilian hair. You can bleach it, and you can dye it if you want to. But like I was saying, a lot of people like to bleach their lace, like on their closures or lace fronts. I don't do that anymore because it just looks so unnatural. Every time I have done that, it ends up looking brassy. The lace always ends up looking brassy and to each his own like each person has their own way of doing things me I do as well so with this video I want to show you how I get around that without having to bleach anything so what I do sometimes to the actual lace itself is for one I'll take the lace and I'll get me like a really light not too light but a lighter pressed powder so I have this one which is lighter okay and it might work and, and, and it probably is gonna work. And then I have this one, which I use on my face. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lightest one, the lighter one, with my makeup brush here, and I'm just going to rub a little bit on it. So this is what I like to do. So there you have it, that's what I did. This is what I like to do. This is straight out the box. I didn't even wash this, because I really didn't want to. Um, so I went ahead and put some styling mousse in it and got it to lay like this. And the way I gave it the height is I put one of these clips, I put the styling mousse right here, at the roots and at the back and on the sides and I took one of these clips right here and held it like that overnight and it dried okay then put some elastic waist in it elastic in it and it does have the combs in the unit as well and adjustable strap so let's now, also, as you can see, this time around, I have on a wig cap that is this color. Act like you don't see the run inside, okay? We're not going to pay that attention. Sometimes these bands could be a little bit tricky and get in the way, so you want to be careful with that. You know what I'm saying? Where you set them, you might have to get a knee high and do it. Um, I'm just not going to worry about that right now. Also, I went ahead and I have gelled my baby hairs down. Now, I'm not using that got to be stuff because I can't deal with it. I'm going to be using this Gorilla Gel, Snot Gel. I have had this for almost four, four years, the yellow bottle, the punk. I, I just didn't, didn't want to use it because it just looked nasty to me. I just couldn't deal with it. Putting elastic will help your wig lay flatter as well, so you want to keep that in mind if you want it to look natural and you don't want your hairline to be pulled out. So the elastic really does help, makes it like lay super low, super tight. See what I was talking about with the band of the wig right there? So just ignore that. You see it has like these little baby hair wispies. That's cute, it was real cute and stuff. So now that I have just a little bit, I'm gonna take some of this. 
I don't want a whole bunch of them. You don't have to cut them all. Don't cut a whole bunch because you do not need all of that. Now, this is just the lace front, but I'm saying, though, the density is amazing on this. And as you can see, I just brushed some of those little tiny baby hairs up into the wig right there. I shouldn't even have cut them. It looks good. And you see how it hiked up? That's just from the styling mousse. The styling mousse that I used was the Aussie brand. It was the Aussie brand styling mousse. Not this hairspray, the styling mousse. And I just put a little bit and I took my comb, the edge of it, and I brushed it up here. And I brushed it here and here and just put that clip, like I said, and then put that clip right here overnight. And that's how it looks. Some people may want a little bit more. To me, it looks pretty decent, but you know, you can go a little bit further get you some concealer something that's closest to your scalp or if you can't find something that's close to your scalp then something that will same foundation you use for your face you want to go lightly with it just a little bit okay and you want to take your finger and kind of like rub it in also make sure you have a small brush so I went so light I didn't want to put too much product on the brush because I got scared you see that I also go in the front as well so, you take that brush and you can rub it in with that brush. I like to do it all over because I don't want to have like that one little line right there, like you know? So, I like to do it all over. Not all over, but you know. Ooh, she's sleek and cute too. This is a cute wig. Hmm. Bam. This one is super cute. You can save 10 bucks by using my code April 10 at time of checkout. Like what? Hmm. This hair feels so good. Like seriously, it feels really good. This is a long 20 inches though. This is 20 inches. It's very long for 20 inches. More or less it looks like it's 22 to me. Now like I said, it's 130% density. So for some of you guys, it may not be a lot. But keep in mind the hair texture is light yakky. So if it was silky, then you would definitely need like 180 density. So like those are the things that I like to do when I... I uh, want my way to look as natural as possible. I ain't trying to be bleaching and doing all that extra. It's just doing the most. So if you guys have any suggestions how do you do yours, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of my tips and tricks. And the elastic, I do get it from Walmart in the sewing section. Not the arts and crafts section. The sewing section. And it is a black non-roll elastic. And it's a woman one and it's three quarters of an inch. Okay, so yes, you guys, let me know what you think. Make sure you check out OMG Her Hair. And also check us out on social media. I love you guys. Stay Diva and Divalicious. The coupon code down below will be for $10 off of your purchase of $100 or more. And as well as that, stay Diva and Divalicious. I love you guys, and I'll see you in a soon-to-come video.